Maneuverability. 5-5 five, five rudder. Diving plane shift time 13 seconds. That feels like a lot. Yeah, I don't think the sonar mod matters. Turn this down a little. Uh, engine room? I think it's unlikely that we get fire flood. Just realistically. I don't need this. Probably end up doing that. When detected by an enemy? No. Steering gear mod. Propulsion mod. Damage con. I think this is like... The thing people take. Because the propulsion. I don't think the propulsion is very slow. Hey, Roz. Um, I'm okay. Tired. I'm always tired. These have a lot of detection. So I don't think this does anything for us. Ship consumable. This might not be a bad idea. Because that would give us an additional potentially six seconds. We'll see. The I think we go with this. I don't think we need the propulsion module. I don't think we do. Uh, let me double check this. Okay, possibility of getting a flood, sure. We'll just do this for free. Uh, in fire, incoming fire, priority target, no. Consumable specialist, reload time. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Flooding chance, sure. Reload time if your, if your ship is detected by the enemy. This might help in, like, sub duels. If there's me and another sub going after it, that's where I think that matters. Rudder shift and diving plane shift time within 15 seconds of using the hydrophone consumable. So this is again more like for sub brawling. Uh, less chances to use damage con is good. I mean, that's probably fine. Although this is probably better. In fact, that probably is better. We'll go with this, actually, for a base. This is going to be useful if we're... Did XCOM earlier? Yes, I did. We did uh, three missions, and then I stopped. Definitely want Superintendent. The uh, Hydrophone is very important. Okay, Adrenaline Rush, absolutely, sure. It was highlighted within 30 seconds of using the Hydrophone consumable. So this is... Possibly sub stuff. L slower dive capacity depletion, faster movement when depleting. Consumable enhancements? Absolutely. We want a longer hydrophone. And uh, the depth charge battery thing is great too. I don't need faster velocity pings. Increased duration of a twice highlighted sector. For a small reduction on a single highlighted sector. I think that's good. I think this is gr good too. If we have the ability to set up for a big hit, we can. And that leaves a single point, which is probably just flood. So I think that's what I had before, but... You know, we kind of talked through it, so that's cool. Rudder shift 4.4. Dive shift 10.8. So if I get additional 10% on the consumable time, this goes out to 6.45. This goes out to 70 seconds, which is not enough for another ping because it pings every 15. We'll still be able to see though, which is important. And it would give us an additional, it would take it out to 35.5 seconds. This gives us a minus 40, however. So a much more responsive ship. So more likely that we can juke torpedoes in the water if we double rudder. Stick the flag on. Speed, torps. I don't want to detonate and we can get reload going. And... Sure. Oh, wait. I have to set that to thingy. Cool. 
And let me just check and see. Hey, snake on me. Hey, Diego. Let me see what uh, I'm working on here. This is all done. Dutch cruisers. Commander XP, free XP. So this is important. This is not available yet, so I don't really have to worry about finishing it. This is important. Just do stuff. Play the game and do stuff. So that's cool. We'll do that. Um, yeah, so I'll do, I'll do these three flags, and I'll just let that be it. So, naval battle is on. We need 700 base XP. I assume we can do that. I mean, if we get kind of hits at all, we should be able to do that. We have to play a little conservative, I think. Just so we don't overcommit and get kind of stuck. Ten days until um, three of the Soviet carriers go live. Yeah, exciting. I haven't played Soviet CVs in like three or four weeks. It's been a while. Right, this is a Lexington, so we could be bombed. Kid Akazuki Salmon. I think we have a longer Hydro than this dude does. And uh, we have the ability to uh, preserve depth when detected. So I probably want to be over here. But it depends on if one of these DDs is going Action over to sea. I think I'll head over to C. Kid is heading to C2, plus a hipper, plus the Tikal. Holy fuck, is everybody going to C? Alright, well, this is concerning because almost nobody's going to A, so this might be a fool's errand to run all the way over here. Lightning is not awake. Kaga is bailing. This is not a good recipe for success here. And the lightning is still AFK. This is also problematic. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be able to cap this. Hmm. Okay, to cow turn back. That's cool. This is still kind of sus. I am RPF'd, which is an issue. Four kilometer detection with ping. Detectability after emitting a sonar ping. His damage gone. The Torps will probably die because of that. But do what you can. This is gonna hit an island. One of them will hit an island. Ooh. I don't actually know if this ends up hitting. It might end up zoning or ranging out. Cool, we got one of them. Well, we got a hit. That's cool. 
We do have a single chase torpedo. DD over there. Torpedoes astern. He gets hit. It's gonna hurt. He already damaged con the first ping, so. He's in smoke, so we can rise safely. That sucks quite a bit. But he did already damage Khan, so... Enemy cruiser sighted. Does he get hurt? Not hit with one. No, he's full forward now. Why do we not see him? Much obliged, Commander. Go. Oh. That was important. Why am I still detected? Oh, there's a sub here. Got it. Torpedoes dead ahead. Those both hit. Attention! Maximum depth reached. Probably. Quite responsive. Submarine sunk. All right, well, that answered that question. So I probably could have used my little battery thing, but I didn't think of it. Which is no good, but we can surface back up, get some spotting on these ships. Right, so the death of the DD is pretty big. I, I believe at this point we're good on our 700 base XP, so I don't think we have to worry about that. We could be spotted by the Lexington, so we might have to go dark, but meanwhile we can uh, refill our depth. Whilst we can. If he gets reset, we could even work on capping. Where are you going? I mean, he could try to tort me, but that would be strange. However, the hipper will take a shot, so we're going to duck to... Uh, He's going over to mess with the Kaga, for whatever reason. We'll see this eventually. So I might hit him, I might not. We do. Chuck that out wide. Because it's gonna hook around the island and stuff, right? anything there? I don't know if we do. We got two. Two's good. Those miss. question is what happens with these? They miss. It's too bad. Let's see if we can try to get those turning before they're uh, too far gone. It's not a double ping. That is, however. That probably hurts a lot. Let's get those out.
Enemy cruiser founder. I think that's gonna be a kill too. He did. Or is he? Yes, because they're turning just a little bit. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. We've got two of them. Our team has taken the lead. Might have to save this game as well. We need to clip three games from yesterday. Our victory is in sight. So, we still have a fair amount of people. One, two, three, four. Oh wow, what the hell is he doing over there? Well, being on the side relative to where the ships were was really nice because we got some really good tour pits. Am I gonna stream the event? The event. The King of the Sea League thing? Is that what you mean, Onos? I didn't sign up for the stream league, for the secession league. I don't know what that is. Bogsy didn't say anything about wanting to do it, and I didn't want to just like solo stream. Plus, I'm not even doing clan battles right now. I'm just basically stepping back, taking a chill pill. So uh, I did not sign up, if that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about something else, then let me know what that is, I guess. Nice work. Yeah, I feel like we win this. I feel like we're doing pretty good right now. This, I, I also think this was an abnormally good game. Our victory is in sight. Oh, this is a single Akazuki. There's no way we're even going to get there in time, so... Autopilot mode Whatever, man. We are done. Well, it's nice that we're able to catch the, the enemy sub and those cruisers broadside. Pretty sexy. Let me see what this event thing is. Is it going on now? <whistles> 07 versus Embissel qualifiers, five minute delay. Oh, well, okay. So, I don't know what the Secession League is, but um, it seems like it's happening. So, if uh, people want to watch that, I mean, by all means, have fun. Especially if 07's playing. I mean, they're going to do a good job. Maybe chat's dead. It says I have people here, but everybody's all quiet. <laughs> Look who we got here. Yeah, it's me again. I, I did XCOM earlier because I think Sky Raider was asking like, hey, could you play something a little different? You know, he was a little burned on WoWs. He just wanted to see something else. So I did some XCOM. We ain't dead. <laughs> um... And also because it's early morning in the NA server, I mean, it's it's kind of dead. It gets really funky. Yeah, so we'll have to save this one. Okay, well. Nice. So we got two stars there.